Imagine God says, you will sponsor the kingdom. And you wake up in the morning, there is no money. You wake up the following day, there is no money. The Bible says, you need the hazon. He says, your, your eyes of your imagination, be what? And enlightened, that you may know. That you may know. Otherwise, you begin to doubt. Am I really going to do this? Will this thing really work? That you may know the hope of your calling. I do not lose hope in my calling. It doesn't matter where I am, what I'm doing. I never lose because my eyes of my understanding, they are enlightened. I see her son. I see the future. I see visions. Someone said, receive her son. You needed this. So that you may know the hope of your calling. Number one. Now see that? That you may know the hope of your calling. See the scripture? That you may know the hope of your calling. Number one. There's a comma there. Number two. What are the riches of doxa? Glory. The word glory there is the word doxa. Which means the glory of materials. For example, when Solomon built a temple... He put God, he put, when you enter the temple, you will see the glory. Did you hear that? That visible glory that appears in material is known as doxa. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? When Queen Sheba went to Solomon, when she saw the glory, the Bible said there was no spirit left in her. You know what that means? It means demons left. <laughs> so number one it says, the hope of your calling, yes. which most of you, you do not know it. What is the hope of you? That you may know. Because you need to know it. Yes. What is my hope of my calling? Number two, it says the riches of the glory of the inheritance not of the sense, in the sense, in the sense, God's inheritance is in, in the sense, is found in the sense. It's in us. Ideas, prosperity, everything. God said in First Samuel chapter ten, verse one, He says, "Have I not anointed you king, captain?" Of a ghost inheritor. See the scripture there. It says, Then someone took a flask of oil and poured it on his head and kissed him. And he said, Is it not because the Lord has anointed you commander over his inheritance? So God created everything in the Garden of Eden and took Adam and gave him inheritance to say, From now it's yours. What's inheritance? Inheritance is when you take things which were not yours. You take over them. You have inherited. So God made silver. He made gold. He made everything we see. And then the Bible says the inheritance of all these things is found in the sense. But what's happened to the sense? The sense they are not inheriting anything. Why? First Samuel 3 verse 1 it says because the word of God was not common. And they had no visions. And the people are perishing because they have no visions. No prophetic visions. So the church is yes in the church. But it's outside the word. It's time to start reading the Bible. Sitting under the teachings. And start enjoying her zone. Am I talking to you? Am I speaking to you? In number three, in verse 20, same, same chapter, verse 20. Which he worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at the right hand in the heavenly where? In the heavenly places. Verse 21. Far above all principalities and power and might, might and dominion 
and every name that is named. Not only in this age, but also in that which is to come. Uh -huh. Then it says what? And he put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head of all things wait, to wait, the wait, church. Wait, wait, wait. I, I, are, you, are you hearing the way I'm hearing it? He says that your eyes of understanding, your eyes of your imagination be what? Enlightened. That you must begin to see who you are. He says you are put far above. Hey. Far where? Prosperities, dominions, powers, rulers. You are far above. If somebody is feeling a, a politician who is a ruler, the Bible says you are put far above. You didn't hear me. Some say I'm far above. Uh, Dominions, you are far above. Because your eyes be enlightened. You begin to see. Then, see that verse again. It says what? And he put all things under his feet. And he gave him to be the head over all things. To who? The to church. the church. We are head of everything. Where? Who is made that? He says, this was given to the church. Head of all things. Not a tail. And somebody, Antuna's like, I don't know what happens. When we are at our workplace, everybody is doing this on me. No, we are not the tail. The Jesus we serve is the head of all things. I declare... In the season of July, there shall be open visions.